there is a slight distinction between the way that cuts work in standard mode versus sheet metal mode. So here I am in standard mode and I've got a part which is just an extrude, it's a quarter inch thick, and I've got a sketch located on a plane at a 45 degree angle. Let's select the sketch and use the extrude command from the mini toolbar. I'm going to flip the direction, hold down the right mouse button and choose to remove material, and let's right click over the depth drag handle and change this to through all. Hit the check mark to complete the feature and let's activate the cross section. And you can see that the cut is created so that it is normal to the sketch plane. It's coming through my part at a 45 degree angle. So let's do that again, except I am going to deactivate the cross section. Let's get rid of the extrude. And let's convert this to a sheet metal part. Go to the operations overflow menu, convert to sheet metal. And for the driving surface, I will pick this top surface here, hit the check mark, and we have this now as a sheet metal part. All right, let's get that sketch visible and select it again. And I'm going to do an extrude just like before. Let's flip the direction. Well, one thing that you'll notice that is that since I created it in sheet metal mode, it is automatically going to be a cut. Uh, extrudes cannot remove material. And let's change this to through all just like before and hit the check mark. Now let's activate the cross section and you'll notice that the cut is always normal to your driving surface. So uh, the cut comes in and when it hits the surface, Creo Parametric makes it go normal because that's how sheet metal cuts usually go. And let's edit definition. And there are a couple of buttons on the dashboard to make note of. First off, this is the button that makes it that sheet metal cut where it's going to be normal to the surface. When I click this button, it's going to toggle it back and forth between a standard mode cut and a sheet metal cut. The next thing to note is we have a drop down list to control how the cut is being created normal to the surface. And the first option here is to make the cut normal to both the driving surface and the offset surfaces. And you'll, so you'll notice that the shape changes and it becomes more ovalish than it was before. And this is the option that you're going to want to use if say you had some kind of pipe or some other kind of component that was coming through the surface at an angle, this one will ensure that it will clear on both sides. And the second option, which was the default option, is that it's just normal to the driving surface. And the third option is that the cut would be normal to the uh, other side surface, the offset surface. And so you'll notice that the cut shifted a little bit, just to show that again a few different options, and then we'll hit the check mark, and there you see the results of the sheet metal cut. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.